The war that broke out in the summer of 1914 was expected to end quickly, according to the military authorities. Instead, it would last more than four years. The introduction of new weapons and in particular the massive use of artillery at an unprecedented level led to heavy losses for all the main protagonists. By the time peace was finally established, Europe had lost its role as world leader, and it was United States President Woodrow Wilson who put forward the principles for a new international order. We have a 20 parts video series for you where we cover every aspect of the First World War, battles, alliances, and many more. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for future videos. Also, let us know in the comments below what do you think. And now, back to the video. On the morning of June 28, 1914, the Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria and his wife Sophie, Duchess of Hohenberg, embarked on a fateful journey through the streets of Sarajevo. Their procession was intended to display the mighty and presence of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, but it was not to be. As their car approached City Hall, a bomb was thrown in their direction by Nadelko Kabrinovich, a member of the Black Hand, a nationalist group seeking to end Austro-Hungarian rule over Bosnia. Fortunately, the bomb missed its mark, and the Archduke and his wife escaped unharmed, allowing the procession to continue. However, this sense of relief was short-lived. Approximately half an hour later, as the Archduke's car returned along a revised route, it passed in front of Schiller's store, where another member of the Black Hand, Gavrilo Princip, lay in wait. Princip seized the opportunity and fired two shots, fatally wounding both the Archduke and his wife. This assassination carried out by a group of young Bosnian Serbs who were vehemently opposed to the Austro-Hungarian presence in their homeland set off a chain of events that would soon plunge Europe into a devastating conflict. In the weeks following the assassination, the Austro-Hungarian government saw an opportunity to assert its dominance over the region. They issued an ultimatum to Serbia, making demands that were intentionally unacceptable to provoke a confrontation. Serbia's ambition to unite all southern Slavic peoples into a greater Yugoslavia posed a direct threat to the integrity of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The ultimatum in Serbia's response escalated tensions rapidly. On July 28, 1914, Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia, and Belgrade was bombed. The conflict quickly drew in other nations due to a web of alliances and mutual defense agreements that had been established across Europe. By July 30th, Russia, bound by treaty to protect Serbia, declared a general mobilization. This action prompted Germany, Austria-Hungary's ally, to declare war on Russia on August 1st. France, allied with Russia, also began mobilizing its forces. The situation deteriorated further when Germany declared war on France on August 3rd and invaded Belgium the following day. This invasion violated Belgian neutrality, compelling the United Kingdom to enter the war in defense of Belgium and in support of its allies, France and Russia. Within a matter of days, Europe was engulfed in war. The carefully constructed system of alliances intended to maintain a balance of power and prevent large-scale conflicts, instead acted as a catalyst for widespread hostilities. Public opinion across the continent failed to mobilize effectively to preserve the peace, and the war that many believed would be short-lived instead persisted for over four years, drawing in numerous other nations. The war expanded as new countries joined the fray. The Ottoman Empire entered the war on the side of the Central Powers in November 1914, followed by Italy switching sides to join the Allies in May 1915. Bulgaria allied with the Central Powers in October 1915, the conflict spread beyond Europe, involving European colonial empires and gaining a global dimension. Portugal and Romania joined the Allies in March and September 1916, respectively, and Greece in June 1917. A significant turning point came in April 1917 when the United States, after enduring unrestricted submarine warfare and other provocations, declared war on Germany. This entry by the United States not only bolstered the Allied forces, but also marked the war's transition into a truly global conflict, impacting countries and colonies around the world. The war, which had begun with the assassination in Sarajevo, evolved into one of the deadliest conflicts in human history, fundamentally altering the political landscape of Europe and the world. 